Hey guys, so I'm coming to you today with another drugstore haul. I've got everything piled in this tiny little Ulta bag, so it's it's pretty full. And I've kind of been accumulating some things for a little bit now, so we're just going to dig right in. Otherwise, we'll be here like all day. So this is one of the most recent things I actually bought, the new e.l.f. Daily Face Cleanser. And I have to say, I actually really like it. It smells so good and like you barely have to use any of it and this thing I think was like five bucks so I'm really intrigued to try the rest of their skincare line I keep looking for that little like brushy thing and I can't find it so I think I'm gonna have to order it online but I think that this would work perfectly with that because it spreads so well so I'm really interested in getting that but I do I do really like this so far I've used it a couple of times um, next, let's, what's this here? The new CoverGirl Plumpify Mascara. I love this stuff. It is so good. And the wand is like super interesting. Can you see that at all? If I twist it a little bit, it's like twisted. And so like it really gets in there and... It definitely gives you some volume. It claims to give you like 50 times more volume. Um, and I don't think it's 50 times, but it definitely makes my lashes look so much thicker. I really like it and it's good in black too. The first couple times I used it, I did have some issues with it flaking a little bit, but I think that's mainly just because it was new and I wasn't used to that particular formula. But after like the first or second time, I haven't had that problem at all. So next, and I actually got the brush out of this and I used it today, so let me take for it here. I bought the new e.l.f. contour brush and it looks like this. It's got a good like flat top on it so you can really get in there. And I really like this sucker too. It was only six bucks. It's really, really soft and it's pretty densely packed so it's like good and like firm but soft so you can get like a really good clean line with it but it's soft enough that you can like blend it out a little bit with it and kind of work it around it's really good for the nose I really like it for my nose so six dollars well spent I really do like this um I've got a couple other like makeup brush type things in here um I also took those out of the package this is the real technique setting brush now a while ago um Ulta was having like a buy one get one free sale I think it was so I got this and their another one of their setting sponges because my son tore my other one up but I love this setting brush for right up underneath here it's so soft and it's it works so good it gets so much like it gets a good fair amount of powder underneath there without it looking powdery um, which I was having problems with so I really like this and with buy one get one free you can't really can't beat that um, and for the sponges I actually got the two pack and gave one of them to my sister because it was cheaper than us buying two individually um, so we got that and I gave her one and I kept the other one and I've actually used it a good amount of time so far and my two-year-old again has tried to take a bite out of it so um, this one is luckily holding up a lot, a lot better, but I love this sponge. It's so soft when you get it like full, like this is still a little bit damp because I did use it earlier today, but like it gets so soft and I love the flat side of it here. So you can like get underneath your eyes if you wanted to bake with it or even like down in here. And I've really been loving putting on my foundation with this here lately instead of using a brush. So I feel like I need to get me some backups in case my, my son decides to run off with this one and destroy it again. Um, another thing I got here is I bought this Wet n Wild bronzer and this one is in the color Reserve Your Cabana. Um, I can't say that I'm super impressed with it. I have tried to use it a couple of times. It's so powdery like you can see all of the powder and if I... Stuff just flies off of here what I did like about it is it's not really that dark and I'm fair complected and I have blue eyes so if I'm not careful like I can look orange really fast 
and the stuff is super cheap. So even though like I'm not in love with it for three dollars, I can't really expect you know like makeup geek or even like Anastasia type quality. So it's not too bad. Um, I'm just not the biggest fan of it. I did, however, get the contouring palette in Dolce de Leche. Love this. I've been using this sucker every single day to contour with um, since I got it. There's, I've already got like a pretty good dent. Oh my gosh, if I could get it open to show you. Pretty good dent like going on right here. Don't mind my nails, by the way. I've got to paint them. Um, but there's like a good dent going on right here. And I love this color it really does brighten up your eyes and I'll show you what the color of the um, bronzer looks but they are so so soft and they're not powdery they have really good pigmentation if you can see that here and this sucker was like four or five bucks so this one was definitely four or five dollars well spent. Much better than just the straight up bronzer, but this stuff I will definitely repurchase for sure, 100%. Um, I actually got quite a few <laughs> Wet n Wild products in here. I bought this little eyeshadow trio. I'd never used Wet n Wild eyeshadow before, and I do really like it. The brow bone color is pretty. I've used the crease and the eyelid color quite a few times as well, and pigmentation is good. They last on my eyelids all day, um, and again, like this sucker was three bucks, but like look at that. It's so good. Let me see if I can wipe that other stuff off so that you guys can pull my sleeve up here, but like I don't know if you'll be able to really see it, but you can definitely like pick up the pink, you can pick up the brown, and this brown bone color is so pretty. They're not even really that powdery. So they, I think they have pretty decent pigmentation, and like I said, for three bucks, can't go wrong. I bought this little glitter eyeshadow. I've never purchased an eyeshadow like this before, and it is much different than I expected. It is like basically glitter with like a little gel type. I don't know how to explain it, but I think if you like packed it on the lid, <clears throat> it could look pretty. I saw a tutorial, I think it was Jeffree Star who used this. So I'm gonna try it out. I was thinking I might give this a go on like Valentine's Day cause it's so sparkly. And I think with like a red lip, it would look really pretty. So I'm excited to try it. I'll have to play with it a little bit um, and see how it works out, but it was only a dollar. I mean, even if it's not great, a dollar. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is the second one of these that I bought. I actually have the other one on my nails right now, but I loaned it to a friend so that she could try it. Um, but the new Wet n Wild gel polishes, amazing. Normally, if I can get my nail polish to last me two days without chipping, I'm lucky. And this, like, it's finally chipped on my right finger here. And it's been almost a week, so this is, like, good in my book. And the color on my fingers right now is condensed milk. And this one is, what does it say? Pinky swear. That's cute. But I picked up this color because I thought, oh, it's a light pink. It'll be so pretty for Valentine's Day and, you know, springy a little bit. But... I'm really excited to try this color. I hope I like it as much as I do this other one. But the formula is amazing. Like, I've never tried a Sally Hansen gel nail polish. But with these being as good as they are, I don't think I would spring and spend, like, the extra 5 or $6. Plus, I had I found some $1 coupons. <laughs> so, even better. Um, I've got a couple of Milani lipsticks in here. I'll read you the colors real quick. I've got red label let me tell you a story real quick so I had these sitting in a bag in my bedroom so that I wouldn't forget to include them in my haul my two-year-old got a hold of them look at it it's like all mangled I'm gonna have to see if it's salvageable but the color is so pretty let me see if I can 
swatch it without like making it crumble. Yeah, see that? So pretty. And I love the way these smell. It's like, I don't even know. Can't think of like what it smells like, but they smell so good. And I love the packaging and these things are like five bucks. So pretty. I also got Plum Rose and this one, thank God, he did not get into. And it's like a pinky color. And I love it. My husband actually picked this one out for me. I made him go shopping with me. But I think that this is so pretty. It's like a nude, but it's more pink and bright than I usually tend to pick out for some reason. But I really like the way that it looks on and smells good too. And then this one is Matt Darling. And he got into this one worst of all like it's completely flat on the top and I'm so upset because I hadn't even gotten a chance to try these I hadn't even like tested them out on my lips like I was like I'm gonna completely wait and the little booger got into them so let's see if I can get like a good swatch going on this one so this one looks pretty similar to this plum rose one aside from the fact that it's matte and this one looks like it has a little bit of like a satiny type of finish. But those are the three that I picked up. And I think their colors are so beautiful. I have a couple of other Milani lipsticks and I absolutely love them. And half the time at CVS they're like buy one get one half off. And I always have a coupon. So it is money well spent there as well. I have a couple of NYX items here. Um, I have two of their prismatic shadows. This one is girl talk and it looks like this so pretty let me get them both open and then I can swatch them both and then this one is what does it say bedroom eyes so pretty as well this one <coughs> sorry my sister actually found a copy or a picture of bedroom eyes on like Pinterest and sent it to me I was like oh my gosh we need to find that eyeshadow and then my other sister found it and picked it up for me and it's so pretty it's a lot darker than I expected it to you know to be but the pigmentation of these things so good there they are love them I love the girl talk one for like inner corner lid so pretty and the other one I love this like bronzy coppery color those type of colors they just like speak to my soul I don't know if it's just because I think they look so good like with my eye color or what but I love them um another elf product I actually picked up was oh geez, sorry, this mineral infused face primer love this stuff and it was like six bucks too super mattifying like I can instantly see a difference with this whenever I put it on and my makeup lasts all day and for a six dollar primer to work as good as even like my Mary Kay primer that's like eighteen dollars or some of the more pricier primers that's even more than the Mary Kay one like this is a good contender for me and um I will more than likely repurchase it once the sucker is empty because I like it that much and I have two more things in here this one is kind of dirty because I've been using it pretty regularly here. Um, but I picked up a NYX concealer is what this is. And I don't even know if I can like read the color on it anymore. What does it say? I think it's light. Yeah, so this is in the color white. And it's more of like a peachy kind of color than I would normally put under my eyes. So I've basically been putting it like just right under my eyes and then using my... Um, tried and true fit me concealer like you know in like the normal triangle shape for like highlighting and stuff and I'm I love the combination because this helps hide dark circles a little bit better because it's a contrast um you know to like purples and blues so I really like this and I like the consistency of it and this stuff was I think even cheaper than the fit me so I'll definitely buy this again and I think the next time I'm even gonna buy like the lighter color and try it out instead of my fit me and see how that works out and then the last thing I got here was the L'Oreal true match foundation 
I have never tried this foundation before, although I hear tons about it on YouTube. I know lots of people that have tried it before. I grabbed the wrong color, so I do have to return it because this is just a little bit too dark for me. But I'm really excited to try it because I hear so much good stuff about it and it's really affordable. Um, and I love affordable foundations. I don't really need super full coverage or anything like that. So if I can spend, you know, $8 on my foundation and, you know, maybe a little bit more on my eyeshadows or something, I'm a-okay with that. But I'm ready to try this. So I have to take it back and exchange it for the right color so that I can give it a go. Um, but that's everything. It's almost doesn't seem like it was a lot, but when I look at my pile here, there's a good amount of stuff. Um, if you guys have tried any of this and you have any um, information about it, let me know in the comments below. Or if you guys want to hear back about some of the other stuff, like the nail polish since I haven't tried it. Or maybe the True Match since I haven't tried it yet. Um, or even this little glitter. Let me know in the comments below and I can kind of give you guys an update about it. I don't know if I'll do a video, but I can definitely update you in the comments. Or, or something maybe just like a little quick couple minute video to kind of let you know how it's going but if you guys have any other video requests let me know in the comments down below don't forget to like this video and subscribe before you leave and i'll see you in my next one bye